Tenants of the Felix Apartments in Southeast Denver say they are fed up. This morning, some of them stood outside demanding management listen to their concerns. This complex is located off Dartmouth Avenue, not far from 225 and Parker Road. Jasmine Ananis is your reporter in Denver and joins us live tonight. And Jasmine, what is the goal behind this protest? Residents at this complex just want to be heard. Under current law, the warranty of habitability, landlords are required to make it a safe living condition for their tenants. However, tenants tell me their needs and have gone unheard and unmet. Mary Kester, a fed-up tenant at the Felix Apartments, is just one of many living under what she describes as unsafe conditions. These signs represent how we feel. We're angry, we're sad, we're hurt, we're cold, we're angry. Signs that she used to get her message across. Up, up with the union. Down, down with the slum lord. Alongside those supporting her cry for help, Denver City Councilwoman Diana Romero Campbell. I was horrified to see the conditions, the pictures that they showed me, the stories, the documentation that they have for the living conditions that they've had to endure. Kester says these conditions have only gotten worse. We are seen as a dumping ground. People come here in the middle of the night, dump their beds, their couches. Besides dealing with piles of trash, they add they've had to deal with holes in walls, rodents, crumbling ceilings, and no heat or hot water. We've bathed in buckets, we've boiled water on the stove here, and we dump it over ourselves. Who's got the power? We got the power! Friday morning, tenants presented a letter of demand to management. We can't give any, we can't speak to the press, unfortunately. The Denver Department of Public Health and Environment says they've investigated each complaint and have been working with property management, adding they last checked the property on January 30th, and both hot water and heat are working and in compliance. What do we want? Hot water! When do we want it? Now! Still tenants say otherwise. They're ignoring us. They've deleted our maintenance requests. So we're being silenced here. Um, there's absolutely no end in sight. Now, in that letter of demand, one of the requests includes a rent abatement equal to 100 percent of rent until hot water is fully restored and permanent in those units. Now, a Senate a bill has been introduced in the Senate. It would ensure that tenants have a safe place to live, including set timelines for repairs. Live in Denver tonight, I'm Jasmine Adenas covering Colorado First. And we know you'll keep us posted on what happens there, Jasmine. Thank you. Jasmine covers the stories impacting neighborhoods all over Denver. Make Make sure to send her your story ideas through our website, cbscolorado.com, or by giving her a call on our tips line. Well, hundreds of people are